Hey guys, what's up? Hong here and welcome back to the channel. Now, if you've not seen the little video I did about why I'm going on my bikepacking solo camping trip, then please check it out. The link is either somewhere up here or in the description below. What I'm doing today in this short little video is I'm going to show you guys some of the gear and equipment that I will be bringing on my two day, one night camping stay. It's a short staycation, if you may, so I don't need a lot of gear. I've got everything packed into my backpack already. Um, it's not organized. I just basically threw everything I think I'll need into the bag. I will do a proper job keeping everything tidy and neat when I have a little bit more time. Uh, there are two things that are not inside this bag yet. Number one being my clothes. I'll probably choose and decide closer to the date. And number two being my first aid kit because it's not filled up yet. I still got to get a few other stuff that I need to put inside to bring with me. Also not in the bag, obviously, would be my tent, my mattress, my air pillow. All that stuff is already on the e-bike, which I will show you guys in a little bit. So, all right, let's get going. Gonna unpack this in time lapse and we'll see what we have. Here we are, it's all unpacked. I've kind of laid it out a little bit better. And uh, so let's flip the camera around and take a look at what I've got. By the way, for those of you who are camping experts, because like I said in my earlier video, it's been a long, long time since I've been camping or even outfield like back in the army days. So um, I might be very rusty. So if you guys see anything you guys think that is necessary or unnecessary or must have or whatever it is, let me know in the comments so I could be a little bit better prepared. So, all right, let's flip the camera around and take a look at what I got. Okay, so nothing too fancy. This is my regular backpack. Um, I'm not sure how many liters it is, but it could really expand up and you could put a whole bunch of stuff inside. So it's really, really awesome. And it's very cheap. Got it in the Army Mart uh, quite some time ago. This would be mosquito coil. And um, unlike the usual ones that we are more familiar with, this one is supposed to be environmentally friendlier. It's made from wood and also better for health, like for human beings. Uh, and it's supposed to scare away the mosquitoes as well. You put that inside one of these, looks really nice as well. It's magnetic and uh, hopefully that will ward off any of the mosquitoes. Trash bag, extra trash bag, always bring trash bag with you. Take more than you bring there. That's something I saw, something I learned from the trail recon videos that I've been watching is overlanding videos on YouTube. Nuts, because you might get hungry. Coffee, a must for me. Instant oatmeal, that will be my breakfast. I've got a clam chowder. This is amazing. This is granola minis, and they're super healthy, super organic, and really, really, you know, full of energy and well healthy got my toiletries bag right here wet wipes this one's also important because i use 100 percent virgin bamboo pulp and the reason behind that is because a lot of wet wipes that we use are not environmentally friendly so these ones are so that's perfect that's a thumbs up right there hip flask that's a must because i need my alcohol Z extra ziploc bags i got my utensils inside as well to keep them dry and clean uh, Gorilla tape because you never know when you might need it. Super powerful battery pack here from Gold Zero. Zip lock, sorry, zip ties because you never know when you might need that. Paracord just because you never know when you might need that. Like I mentioned earlier, I've got my first aid pack right here. There's nothing inside at the moment. Um, I just got to fill it up with all the necessities, which will be important. All right, let's swing back this way. Shades, you know, you got to protect your eyes. You only have two eyes. Bring along a good pair of sunglasses with UV protection. I've got a small little switch blade here that I bring along with me. Just you never know when you might need a pair of knife just to be on the safe side of things. Here is a multi tool. It's a little bit hard to do this with one hand. And there you got your pliers, can opener, um, scissors, corkscrew, stuff like that. So you are safe i've got a 1010 pelican case right here so this keeps all my cards cash and whatever completely watertight uh another hip flask because there's no such thing as too much alcohol this comes as a package it's pretty cool let's see if i could twist this open with one hand and show you guys what's on the insides give me a second 
It comes with little shot glasses. So when you're drinking your whiskey, which I will be bringing with me in this and in this, then you're good to go. Uh, I got a little stove here, which is for those of you who've been in the army, you guys would recognize this immediately and some solid fuel inside. This is also pretty nifty. Picked this up from AliExpress. It's a small little fan and it also comes with LED lights on the side. You could open them up like a, like a UFO. And um, sorry, let's just try to get this up. And you basically push the button and it lights up. So you can hang this inside the tent and it gives you a little lamp-like effect. It also has a fan with, I think, four speeds or three speeds. It's really hard to do this with one hand, but there you go. And what's so cool about this, it has a built-in battery, so you don't have to worry too much about um, running out of juice. But look up here, solar power, which means you can hang this outside, capture the sun, and then you are good to go. What else do we have here? There's a GoPro pack. I've got all my additional GoPro bits and pieces inside. Um, what you're watching from right now is a GoPro Hero 9. I'm bringing along my Hero 7 because this thing's been so trustworthy. Super duper, 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 super long selfie stick. Not so much for taking selfies. This thing goes three meters, which means it could go into the skies. Um, super long selfie stick because you're not allowed to fly drones at the campsite that I'm going to, um, most of the campsites in Singapore, you're not allowed to fly drones, maybe except for West Coast. So a three meter selfie stick, so I could really capture some top down view. So that would be good. This is a head strap for both the GoPro, or if not, I can attach a flashlight to it just so I can get both my hands free. Extra padlock, carabiner, and super duper cute little, yet very powerful LED flashlight here and uh, just for extra lighting. So that is pretty much all I've got right here. And um, yeah, I think that's it. So there were three things I forgot to mention in that little video. A 2.2 liter water bottle. This would be filled up with fresh water just in case you need more water. Um, lighters, because you always need lighters, especially those that are windproof and finally i have this little pot which i will be using for making either soup and or coffee uh boiling water whatever uh it's super lightweight titanium stuff or yeah i think it's titanium i don't remember uh but you could put an open flame onto it so no issues there uh that's it all right, so the last thing we got to look at would be the e-bicycle, which has my sleeping bag, my tent, my air mattress, my air pillow already mounted to it. So I'm gonna flip the camera around so you guys can take a quick look. I am gonna have a little bit of a problem because I've not figured out how to bring along a foldable chair, because I think that would be awesome to have, as well as a little air pump that I got for the air mattress. So gotta figure that bit out. So here we go, that's the e-bicycle. This is the Venom 2 Plus. It's a pretty nifty little thingy. Goes pretty fast as well. On top speed, uh, setting number three, it goes up to 25 kilometers per hour. So that would make the trip a lot easier. So I've got my air pillow right here. This is my sleeping bag. This is my tent. And this is my air mattress. It's uh, pretty heavy, these two items. Sleeping bag, super light. Pillow, obviously, very, very light. Now, this is the thing I'm talking about. This is the air pump that pumps up the air mattress. Uh, if you saw my earlier video in part one or the prologue video where I talk about why I'm going camping, then you would probably have seen that in action. The other thing I got to figure out is this small little foldable chair I got from Decathlon. It's uh, pretty sturdy, pretty comfortable, and pretty light as well. It's, you know, weighs next to nothing, but still on a bike packing trip. Uh, got to figure that bit out. A lot of people have been asking me why I'm getting, why I'm using an air pump and not one of those electric motor ones which are small. You could put in batteries and then it'll just do the job automatically with the air mattress. 
Two reasons. Number one, I want it to be a little bit more environmentally friendly because those things need batteries. So, you know, I don't want to use batteries if I don't really need to. Number two, this little thing right here, huge as it is, it's a bit of a workout using it. So you get some exercise as well when you're pumping up the air mattress. And uh, yeah, so I got to figure out how I'm going to strap this. Maybe I could strap this onto my backpack along with the foldable chair. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. This is the rig that I will be using and it's gonna get exciting. Well, that's it, guys. That's all I've got. Remember to let me know in the comments what you guys think in terms of the gear that I'm preparing for my two day, one night little camping trip here in Singapore. Um, for those of you who have more experience, please do let me know if I need certain things or if I don't. Um, if not, then the next time you guys see me in this playlist will be when I go camping. So till then, take care. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, share and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video. See you guys soon.